if you've ever been at the self-checkout at the grocery store and really wondered, would they know if I didn't scan this? Well, then kept watching. Yeah, a Grafton man busted for skipping the scanner more than once. Christina Venzel's live outside the Meyer store there, and it was his perks card that helped to nab this guy, Christina? It was, Ted. Police say that they were able to trace back purchases made by Kevin Deering through his perks card and they started to do that because the store here believed that he was stealing at the self checkout line. Then they recognized him in this parking lot. The most recent time police say he didn't pay for avocados, but now the Grafton man is paying for a lot more than just that. When you go grocery shopping, a felony is probably not on your list, but a Grafton man checked out with just that. So there was at least 12 times where he uh, was caught stealing. The total was over $800. 41-year-old Kevin Deering is charged with felony retail theft. He's accused of skip scanning at the Meyer grocery store in Grafton. He would uh, put scan one green pepper, but put like several more in the bag. Prosecutors say the incidents happened between February and April. The store's loss ranged anywhere from $15 to nearly $150. It was obvious that this was not a mistake. Grafton police say Meyer has a software program that works with the surveillance cameras. So they know when someone doesn't scan an item at self-checkout. Police say video shows Deering leaving items in his cart without scanning them or holding multiple items, but only entering one as the quantity. Some people think they can get away with this, that it's easy to use self-checkouts and not get caught, but the reality is they're watching you. Deering works for the mequon Thienesville School District. He's the executive director of educational services. The school district says he was placed on administrative leave Monday. He said that everything goes so fast there, so if he made a mistake, he would reimburse Meyer. Deering is out on a $2,000 bond. We went to the address listed on court documents, but the woman who answered the door did not want to talk. Hi there. Oh, okay. And if he's convicted, Deering could face up to a $10,000 fine and potentially three years behind bars. Reporting in Grafton, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. As Mary said in the intro to your story, a lot of people think, I wonder if they're watching. Do police want this to serve as a warning, Christina, that, yeah, you're being watched more than you realize? Yeah, I think so. I think it's definitely a reminder when you're at the self-checkout line that, like the officer said in that uh, story, they're watching. Pay for the green onions, in other words. All right, Christina Van Zelst reporting on a windy day. Thank you.